This is day number four. All we need to do is hike out today. We're pretty much all packed up. Um, last night was a good night. Well, it was a fair night. But neither of us slept that great. Um, uh, weather was pleasant enough. Um, not sure what it was. But it had a little bit of wind rustling around, but it wasn't really didn't get to us because we're pretty deep in the. This site is really well protected with trees and block wall and stuff like that. Um, good site. Um, only complaint is we didn't have our beautiful stars last night. You know, we were actually under this nice canopy here. Um, I would say after looking at a few of these sites, site number 14 is probably one of the best ones. It's up in the back. It's near the toilet, near some water. Another, and um, you got clear sky, uh, mostly clear sky above you. And, but there are some trees kind of close by, so you probably get some shade at certain times of the day. Anyway, time to hike up 3,000 feet straight up over 4.8 miles. Ready, Jane? Ready. Getting there. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Moving on, walking through the campsite, on up. <clears throat> yeah, one other note, um, we had a, two mule deer does and a fawn bouncing around yesterday evening at the campsite. And actually, <laughs> at one point, we just before I went to bed, we headed to the bathroom, it was already dark, and I nearly ran into the fawn. Um, you know, we had the, our headlamps low to the ground, and all of a sudden, <laughs> She was like one to two feet away from me. And so anyway, that was interesting. In the middle of the night, there was some munching going around around the tent or some kind of movement. And I turned the flashlight on and it was one of the does, you know, just feet from our tent browsing. So anyway, today we go up, up, up. point out in the sun patch there in that plateau right in the V there is Indian Gardens we're about a mile in here and going up that way that's Jane all right so Jane says we're still in the bright angel shale that's this slope green layer but it's also um, this layered area here that you can see right there turns red that's what's called a red red wall and then right up on top is a formation we'll see a little bit later that little pointy thing called the battleship because it kind of looks like a battleship from the top and here we are it's plateau point in the distance still and here we go I find it hard to video and hike at the same time. Anyway, we're at 1.4 miles. There's the battleship.
I got my 1.5 on the way up. And it's my top point in gardens, three mile rest house. So Jane's feeling good. Aren't you, Jane? And she wanted to go to that three mile rest house and she said, let's keep going. She's an animal. So here we go. We will do a pack off break at mile and a half. A little bit of a snack. And then we will get some water and then Hit that last stretch, which is, I think, I understand, pretty steep. Goes up a corkscrew section or a switchback section that they call Jacob's Ladder. So, anyway, off we go. Actually, I think why Jane wanted to keep going is because we just blew past set of four big guys that were camped next to us. And they're just average guys, they're 50s. But Jane wants to show them what for, right? <laughs> sure, <laughs> that's just my personality. Yeah. Yeah, smile. You're gonna meet a lot of people say hey. <laughs> I don't think I'd uh, be able to compete with your mules. A battleship. You got a pretty one. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Ooh, I can smell it too. <laughs> and we got the mile and a half rest house. Well, once we get there, it's a mile and a half to the top. All right, 
just uh, leaving the three mile rest area. Cook, break and snack at the bathroom area. This is where there's supposed to be water. As a kid, went on a family trip and others were a bit too slow. And so I just took off. I remember I had no water with me and it was like August or something. And got up to this point and I just drank and drank and drank and drank and drank. And then finished up. Anyway, 911 phone here. Don't feed the animals. And emergency phone. All right. Last mile and a half. And we are on our way. This is going to be the toughest part. There is a Bright Angel Fault. Right there. That's where we came up yesterday. Plateau Point right there. Indian Gardens right there. That's where we spent the evening. And there's Jacob's Ladder. That's where we're headed. Battleship. All right, let's do this thing. That's, I think Jacob's Ladder is supposed to be the, one of the steeper sections. Either that or it's just unique because of all the short switchbacks. But you gotta get up that little narrow canyon. So next, after that, the next landmark is going to be the tunnel, which is pretty close to the top. Well, to answer your question, Jane, how, is this the tunnel or is it a tunnel? It's definitely a tunnel. Um, as far as I know, there's only one. Yeah. What did we find, Jane? A tunnel. Yay, all right. Don't, don't forget to uh, take advantage of the shade. Okay, well, yeah, the 10 feet of it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Apparently there is another, apparently there is another tunnel out there, which is called the tunnel. A lot of people, even close to the top, a lot of people coming down for a stroll. All right, we've been coming up and up and up and up. Wow, lots of people there. Here, you know you're getting close to the top. Here's a standard throw up sign, according to Jane. Right. And also, meal droppings. They're always near the top. Huh. And there, if I can zoom in. And the, behind, uh, just above Jane, is the tunnel. That's a good shot of yeah. Bright Angel Fault. That's where we came across. Up. So you guys walk seven. And. Oh, the We're at the tunnel. This one's more like Moria. 
This one's at least twice the length of the other one. <laughs> the tunnel I'm talking about is not that Oh, look, Should we got Mr. Squirrel. Hello. Hey, buddy. What you doing? What happened to your tail, dude? Uh, okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's not very fuzzy on his tail. Yeah, no, I'm not giving you any food. No, we did the, the whole 30 miles, you know, whatever, 26 backpacking and 30 side hikes. And, you know, it's Phantom Ranch. We probably put on two miles just walking back and forth. <laughs> Between Bright Angel Campground. But anyway, this is it, Jane. Are you yep. So I don't see anything bad. Woohoo! Yay. How was it? Oh, Great. It's beautiful. Can we go with the kids? Oh, uh, don't worry. It depends on where you're gonna go. <laughs> so we did it. Four days, three nights. From north Rim to South Rim. Thirty miles. Yeah. Had a great time. Yeah, I guess 26 miles with packs, more or less, and then maybe 27 if you count what we did at Phantom, and then uh, a few extra miles. So we 30 miles total. Yeah. With all the side hikes. Had a really great time. Saw some awesome stuff. Four days, three nights. Cottonwood, Indian Garden. Kind of, excuse me, Cottonwood, Phantom Ranch, Bright Angel, and Indian Garden. Okay. How do you feel? I feel good. Right, I feel awesome. much better than I thought I would. <laughs> yeah, and it's 10 a.m. Yeah, we got the rest of the day to enjoy. Made it. That's, we, that's less than three hours? Yeah, so we started at 7.30. We did it in like, like less than three hours. Yep, less than three hours. From Indian Garden on up. Yep, awesome. That's the steepest part.